when I came here, remember Kashmir is a tourist destination and yet it was not developed in the manner that international tourists would have liked to see. Now when I came here, when I landed here from airport to my hotel, there were image changes, projects, pending flyovers have been completed, lights have been set up. There is of course security concern that does remain. Terror acts are still on. Kashmiri pundits still being targeted. But people here, you can hear the cheers, you can hear the applause for Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha and for Prime Minister Modi. Perhaps because they're quoting all that has been done. And to tell you about, take a look now, Sachin, show, show to our viewers about the number of people who have come. From across Kashmir Valley since 4 to 5 a.m., they have been here. And perhaps I hope and that this will continue and will it be only about what has been done or much more. On the stage, as we can see, member of parliament of the Bharatiya Janata Party, Dr. Jitendra Singh, who's also the MOS, who's the union minister with independent charge of Ministry of Science and Technology, and of course, Prime Minister Modi flaunting, if I've got it correct, a Kashmiri shawl while Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha is speaking. Prime Minister Modi realizes if Kashmir changes and toward peace becomes a, pe a place of growth, it's a legacy that Prime Minister Modi will also have. That one legacy that perhaps the Prime Minister can boast of, and that is why his focus remains Jammu and Kashmir. He was in Jammu earlier, he's now in Kashmir. Will these visits continue? Will there be more return? And right now, Manoj Sinha, the Lieutenant Governor, quoting of the changes that have sent. Now, of course, they're listening intently to what is being said. And the moment here of uh, the, at the Bakshi Stadium, it's newly renovated. You see the arrangements that have been done. Also, let me tell you, before I forget, Bakshi Stadium is a football stadium. Earlier, there would be about 30,000 people. Uh, it, was, it, was a, it was a normal big stadium for Kashmir. Now it is up to the international standards, FIFA standards. International football matches are expected to be organized here. So that's where you're sitting right now now is worthy of international standards where sometime later you will see more international matches that are likely to be organized. Wouldn't that be lovely to see? It's already started. There are leagues, matches that are organized, but now where I'm standing to have international football teams to come to Kashmir, which was once called sadly as, as the hub of terror. And quickly, I want to also tell you, on this side are the family members of those who have died either in the last duty who have been targeted as innocent civilians this is the first vip zone right after this is the prime minister stage so as the vvip area they are the ones sitting not the political workers but the martyrs the people who have sacrificed their life for kashmir they hope this support this respect will continue to come it's an important moment and perhaps here on what kashmir becomes will be a collective effort of the people of kashmir and of prime minister modi and of course of the government and perhaps if there is any change the change will be respected in terms of growth irrespective of which party takes over just another quick glance let's go across that side that's the central pavilion of the Bakshi Stadium and you can see there people sitting toward the corner as well. All right. Yeah, well, that's uh, Pooja there bringing us a, a real sense of what she saw all the way from the airport to the Bakshi Stadium. Uh, we see a uh, setup that was made to boost and show uh, the, the proud beauty of Kashmir, where uh, a boost to terrorism, uh, a boost to uh, tourism, and uh, that was what was largely visible, is what Pooja says. She's still with us at the stage. You know, can you tell us why you are here? And I saw you wearing a I love Modi cap, which you know I wouldn't have expected a Kashmiri woman to wear. What has led you to this? Sabse pehle meri meri jo Angrezi hai na, meri jo English hai na, wo sahi nahi hai. Uski pronunciation sahi nahi hai. To main aapko Urdu mein bata deti hu. Dekh lijiye ki aapne khud dekha. 
पहले ऐसी चीजें मतलब मैं पहले इससे पहले ऐसी टोपी नहीं पहन सकते अब दिल की खुशी है ना वो बाहर निकली है ना तो तभी मोहब्बत से पहनी है और हम इनको देखने आए हैं मैं नहीं यहाँ कितनी हजारों तैदाद और बहुत ज्यादा अब नहीं है पहले बहुत ही ज्यादा था हद से ज्यादा था अब नहीं है अब देख लीजिए आप खुद देख सकती है मीडिया वाले मुझसे ज्यादा जानते हैं जहाँ पहले सात सात दिनों में कंटिन्यू सात बार टेररिस्ट के हमले होते थे अब वो अगर साल में दो बार हुए तो ना के बराबर है लेकिन पहले हमेशा होते थे यहाँ पे कब्रिस्तान भरी हुई है जितनी हुकूमतें थी ना कब्रिस्तान सारी भरी हुई अगर आप देख लेंगी ना कभी कभी आप घर से निकलते थे आपको नहीं पता डर लगता था डर बहुत डर लगता था घर से निकलते हुए अभी जैसे मैंने टोपी पहने पहले मैं कभी नहीं पहन सकती थी क्या भगवा कलर है मैं बहुत सारी होती है मेंटेलिटी लोगों की सबकी अलग अलग डिफरेंट होती है तो अब वो चीजें नहीं है बेहतर है क्या आप सपोर्ट करते हो प्रधानमंत्री मोदी को क्यूँ सिर्फ मैं नहीं करती हूँ यहाँ लोकल भी आए हैं सब करते हैं यहाँ दो लाख के करीब लोग हैं आप देख सकती है औरतें हैं मर्द हैं सब है यहाँ सिर्फ पार्टी वर्कर्स नहीं है पार्टी वाले नहीं है यहाँ बाकी भी हैं हाँ हाँ इसलिए करते हैं कि इसमें आप आप खुद देख लीजिए जहाँ पे एक माँ बेटे को सुबह रुख्सत करती थी शाम को उसकी लाश आती थी या दो तीन दिन वो गायब रहता था फिर उसे मतलब कब्रिस्तान में जाके मिलते थे उससे कबर में तो आज जब आप देख लीजिए की वो चीजें नहीं है तो ये पसंद नहीं आएंगे और क्या करेंगे जरूरी है कि ये अब शांति आनी चाहिए बहुत और क्या बिल्कुल जरूरी थी और ये कि शांति तो चाहिए हर तरीके से घर में भी अगर मैं कहूँ कि भाई बहन में तू तू में मैं रहेगा बंदा वहाँ भी पीस चाहता है हर जगह वही चाहिए इंसान को हर जगह वही चीजें चाहिए और वही सेंटिमेंट है थैंक यू सो मच अमीना इनका नाम है शीज बॉर्न इन नाइनटीन नाइनटी थ्री डेट्स स्पीक और आप ये सुन सकते हैं की ये कश्मीर की रियालिटी है की आप घर से कब बाहर निकले और फिर आप वापस आए ना आए आपको नहीं पता एंड दैट इज वाई यू सी द अपलॉज इन दियर्स अमीना इज ओनली वन ऑफ द मेनी वुमेन हुव स्पोकन टू इन द पास्ट टू ईयर्स मेनी ऑफ दम वो नॉट सपोर्टर्स ऑफ द बीजेपी दे वुडन हैव इवन वॉन्टेड प्राइम मिनिस्टर मोदी पॉसिबली बट टूडे वेन दिस सी द चेंज द पीस दैट हेज कम द फैक्ट दैट सिनेमाज हैव ओपन फॉर यंगस्टर्स लाइक इज नॉर्मल फॉर अस अक्रॉस द कंट्री दैट किड्स कैन गो टू स्कूल विदाउट एन इंटरप्टेड स्कूल सिस्टम विच इज नॉर्मल फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ अस वाई शुड इन टू कश्मीर गेट इट टू एंड बिकॉज ऑफ constant politicization of issues even today in fact mai uh, abina i want to ask you this uh, hum baat kar rahe the pehle jo ek brainwashing bhi bahut hoti thi ki india hamara nahi hai india se alag hona hai to kya wo kam hua hai aapko wo to bilkul khatam ho gaya hai jaise mai apne chote bhai ki baat karu wo bhi kehta tha ki usse nahi pata tha agar kabhi jaise general knowledge koi gk book hoti hai usse flag ye india ka flag hai sachi mein india ka flag hai to aise bolte the aisa aisa sunne mein aata tha aise सुनने को मिलता था लेकिन आज वो चीजें नहीं है आज वो चीजें नहीं है देख लीजिए आप अगर आप That is the hope, the change that has come, and with that hope, I toss back to you again, Nabila. But have you listening to Kashmiris themselves of the changes that they have seen and why they are here for Prime Minister Modi? All right, it's really heartwarming to listen to uh, the true Kashmiris who speak about change that's happened in the last few years. 